Hey guys, it's Simon here from OneTechStuff.net and in this video we will have a look at the latest build for Windows 10 Mobile, build 15007 uh, which has been released by Microsoft uh, just two days ago um, for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. Um, it's a new build since a couple of time and yeah, we will just have a look at it so stay tuned and watch the video. So first of all we will have a look at two apps which have been implemented in this new build. Uh, since build 15007 we have this new app which is called Get Help. Um, the app is pre-installed on the latest build and it's just such a getting started app which has been implemented in previous builds but not as Get Help and not with this UI. And second app we have is called View 3D Preview. Um, this is entirely new on Windows 10 Mobile. Um, it's available on Windows 10 as well. And this app basically allows you to have a look at 3D models. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a 3D model now on my phone. Um, but you can just browse your files uh, for such a such as 3D. Um, model and then you can open it and have a look at it. I think it's not possible to edit it but yeah uh, if you click on Remix 3D it opens the website in Microsoft Edge um, where you can sign up for such a Remix 3D program um, which is currently kind of a preview and as you can see you can sign up for Remix 3D preview and you can get Paint 3D, uh, which is pre-installed on uh, newer builds of Windows 10 Mo and Windows 10 Mobile as well. Uh, not Windows 10 Mobile, sorry, only Windows 10. Um, next off, we will have a look at settings. Actually, in settings, there has been changed a little, pretty much. Um, we can just switch to settings. Um, first of all, which you will notice is that if you go to any setting, uh, let's go to display for example, you will now always have displayed such a neater hand at the bottom of the of the screen. Um, this has been implemented on Windows 10, which can be seen on the right side of the settings app. And in Windows 10 Mobile, you will always find this option at the bottom of a settings page. Um, it has been added to just every setting page. Um, it will probably be removed for some uh, for some settings, but as you can see, it uh, it makes sense that it has been implemented. So, for example, um, yeah, you can just chat with a uh, contact just with the support if you are new to the operating system or if you um, yeah, just need some help, and this will bring you to the same app which you had a look at already um, and yeah as well we still have the related settings here so that you have similar settings still here to um, yeah get faster to the settings you are looking for um, next off we have um, the app section which is has been which is a new setting a uh, new section here in settings just like on Windows 10 if you open the app sections, you do have the apps and features, apps for websites and offline maps. Um, I'm not sure what offline maps has to do with apps, but yeah. Um, in apps and features, uh, it takes a bit until it loads up the list of apps. Um, this is looking almost the same like we had it in earlier builds already. Uh, but if you go open an app now, Let's have a look at, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's open Facebook and go to advanced options. Here you can move it to an SD card and uninstall app. And you can go to advanced options. Again, takes a bit to load up. And then you can see um, what the app is using on storage. Um, the app itself has 163 
megabytes. Data would, which has been saved from the app is 54.4 megabytes. So the total usage is 218 megabytes. And if you have our, if you are experiencing any problems with the app, you can simply reset it. Um, this will permanently delete all the app's data. So everything which has been saved, images or uh, just some data um, will be deleted so you can reset the app um, this should be almost zero then so it has been reset and you have no um, usage at all now if you go to the Facebook app now um, here we have it you probably have to log in again okay it isn't starting at all now this might be a mistake so it probably erased the whole app um, that's not good it might be a back of this build um, but should be fixed in next builds um, I'll try to reinstall the app, um, maybe this is working, or uninstall this one and add it in the video then, um, if what, what the problem was. Um, next off, we will have a look at, uh, once again, at the app section in settings, because there's one more thing which has been changed. If you go to apps and apps for websites, you can now um, open links in apps. Uh, which is working you can see for example I have installed a Wikipedia app on my phone and there are a few different links here um, which are all turned on so if I visit one of these links uh, which, has, which are related to Wikipedia it will open this uh, Wikipedia app and on the top there was also the feedback hub so if you open a feedback link it will directly open in the feedback hub app um, next off in settings we have got one new thing um, bluetooth and other devices there you can now see all devices which are connected to your phone so i have an sd card inserted and you can see it here um, under other devices and once again you can see the related settings here and need a hand which has been added in this build um, yeah that's it actually you can add bluetooth or other devices and turn on or off bluetooth so you don't really need um, bluetooth to, have, to be turned on because you can choose uh, which device you want to connect to um, that's it in settings it has been uh, completely uh, yeah just has got some fine-tuning in settings and that's pretty good to see okay there's another change uh, which I want to show you if you open Cortana on uh, build 15.007 you can now same as on on your PC or tablet um, you can play and pause music with Cortana so if you, I mean you can tell it her to do that of course, but if you type in or say play uh, for example Eminem um, on Groove uh, Music, well that, that's not what I wanted, Groove, yeah that's it. Um, it should actually open Groove Music on your phone and play this interpret. You can also insert then uh, pause music or um, skip the song uh, and you can edit the volume on your phone. Um, that's unfortunately Cortana is kind of a bug currently on my phone. It's not probably working. Um, but yeah, these, these um, actions have been added to Cortana on Windows 10 Mobile. Um, that's pretty cool, uh, although I don't think that I will go around and talk to Cortana and tell her to play and pause music. But 
it if you want to use it it's good to have it and it's cool that microsoft has added this so that's it um there have been implemented two new apps settings have got a few new features uh cortana has got one more command and yeah that's it for this build um the greatest update is on the way these are first features of this big update which will be released in the first quarter of 2017 and there will probably um, come a lot of more new features in upcoming builds so stay tuned watch our videos have a look at our website wantextop.net and stay tuned for more videos